Hi everyone, and thank you for attending this rapid interaction presentation. I am Anastasia Nikolakopoulou, and today we'll talk about our work on output feedback control and observer design for dynamic artificial neural networks. Artificial neural networks are black box models widely used to approximate nonlinear dynamical system behavior. Dynamic model structures that incorporate ANNs are known as dynamic artificial neural networks, for short DANNs. Stability and performance analysis for open and closed loop DNN systems has been of long-term interest. DNNs, including deep networks, can be rewritten in the standard nonlinear operator form, SNOF. The SNOF describes a linear time invariant system in feedback with a static sector bounded nonlinearity. The SNOF can be rewritten as a DNLDI by employing a loop transformation with constant gains from the interval alpha beta to the interval minus one one. In this work, we adopt the DNLDI formulation, which facilitates the derivation of sufficient design criteria for stabilizing dynamic output feedback controllers and output observers for systems described by DANNs. Equation zero describes a DNLDI with the addition of the integrator dynamics, which ensure that the system can have zero steady state offset. Given the output feedback control law shown here, and after exploiting sector boundedness and slope restriction properties of common DNN activation functions, equation zero is written as one in deviation variable form. Then for system one, we can derive a sufficient matrix inequality visibility criterion two, requiring the existence of the controller matrix K bar and matrices Q tilde and M tilde such that one is globally asymptotically stable. Now consider a system of similar structure with an additional unmeasured disturbance W. The corresponding observer dynamics for an observer matrix L are given by five double prime. Subtracting those two equations gives the observer error dynamics five. Then we can derive a sufficient criterion for five to have an L to gain less than gamma. The criterion requires the existence of matrices P, M and W such that the LMI in six is negative semi-definite. The proposed approach was tested on a case study for a chemical process. For the reaction network given on the left, we are interested in controlling the concentration of D using the control input Q1. The continuous stir tank reactor dynamics are modeled by a DANN. Our proposed criteria resulted in designs that have good closed loop performance for various scenarios. And with that, I would like to thank my funding source and I am open to questions. Thank you.